Grade 12, so we have our two designs, which forms part of the part one part of the pack. And you will see that this is my design one, and that is my design two. And just keep in mind that you either have started both designs on your own, or alternatively, that you have done design one and you've worked with a partner. Now both of you have your two designs. So what happens next, you need to do an evaluation and you need to make a selection of the final design. And this is where you're going to go to the final part of your computerized document and uh, do the evaluation using the rating scale. So let's look at that. So we refer back to this document that you see on my screen of which you have done most of the work already. You've gone through those um, initial pages of your index and as well as your declaration of authenticity and you have worked through your management plan uh, where you have indicated the specific dates which you have completed the certain sections of your PAT uh, and it's very important for you to do that and you've included your two paragraphs of your design brief as well as your specifications and constraints. And you've done your research in terms of your designs and floor plans, layouts, with uh, illustrations in terms of pictures, your three examples of hip and valley roofs, and three examples of your covered walkways. And then you have your designs and construction and drawing detail of roll-up doors, as well as your references in your bibliography. If you have not concluded that year, you have had it on each of the separate pages as mentioned before. Here's your selection for your final uh, solution of which the descriptors have all been given to you already. So that is your design one and this is your partner's design which serves as your design two. And you will use this rating scale here and you will place a recommendation from the rating scale in this block over here and you will probably centerize all of that in this document here. So the use of space and movement that refers to how well your design has been in a spatial context and the movement of it so you can rate it according to the rating scale each one, your furniture arrangements and appliances which you have in your design, your placement of your doors and the windows for ventilation purposes and openings and exit and entry points, your layout basically of what was given to you in your specifications and how it's arranged, your traffic patterns, whether there will be congestions at certain points and how you're going to alleviate that and whether there are more than one of those points and it will be rated. The size of the components or the rooms, um, like your library, whether it's cluttered, your storeroom, your kitchen, your pantry, etc. And those buildings within the main building itself, all of those will be rated according to this rating scale here. And of course you will have a total right here at the bottom. And that total will give you indication. So, for example, you will list in maybe a 4 there, and you will put in a 3 there, you will put in a 5, five here, and you will put in maybe a 3 there. And that's how you're going to score that with a tally of 11 and maybe a tally of 9 here. And that will guide you to which design you will take. And then as here, you will have to write a comprehensive summary giving reasons for the selected freehand solution. Your summary must include whether there are any late changes that would be made to the selected freehand solution. And you can start your paragraph by saying, I choose design number one or two, and please give me your personal view, as well as touching on some of these, if not all, and adding to that perhaps why you have found that design 2 is not suitable 
And that will all add to this paragraph that you will have here. And the more information you have, the more marks will be allocated. And that basically concludes the computerized version as well as your two designs, which all form part of the part one of your pet.